Did you know that people diagnosed with cancer at a young age may have a higher risk of heart problems in the future? But people with cancer are living significantly longer than in previous decades. Thanks to advances in early detection and treatment, cancer survivors should be aware that cancer and its treatments can compromise cardiovascular health. In this video, I'll explain how cancer survivors also have a higher risk of heart problems. This is Scope Care, best guided platform for patients and caregivers of all ages. If you'd like to be a part of Scope Care, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started on our topic. More than 840,000 people, including about 69,000 cancer survivors, see how much cancer ages their hearts. It was found that young males with cancer had hearts that appeared to be eight and a half years older than their actual age, whereas young females with cancer had hearts that appeared to be six and a half years older. So what is heart age? The phrase heart disease refers to a variety of heart problems. Coronary artery disease, which also affects blood flow to the heart, is the most common. A lack of blood flow can cause a heart attack. Heart age is a number that indicates how likely you are to get heart disease. It is the age of your heart and blood vessels due to your heart attack and stroke risk factors. You can also compare it to your actual age. The heart age is determined by its blood pressure and BMI or body mass index. The person's heart age is also determined by whether or not they have diabetes, smoke, or are being treated for high blood pressure. A man's heart age is 30 years higher than his actual age, and a woman's heart age is 35 years higher than her actual age. This difference is called excess heart age. Different experts are continuously struggling to find its main reason. Nevertheless, the findings back up the idea that the standard methods for predicting heart problems aren't designed for those who have had cancer treatment. Doctors often use an online calculator to predict a patient's risk of suffering a heart attack or stroke in the next 10 years. The resulting score guides decisions about whether certain people should take a statin to lower their risk. Most people who have had a heart attack, stroke, or diabetes should take a statin. The calculator is for those who do not have these problems. Meanwhile, other research explores the role of statins during and after cancer treatment. Cancer as a risk enhancer. Currently, guidelines suggest that people with risk scores of more than 5% who have had one or more risk-enhancing variables should consider taking a statin. These risk-enhancing factors may include a family history of early heart disease and conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and chronic kidney disease. But really, not cancer? We may need to think about cancer as a risk-enhancing factor, given what we know about how the disease and its treatments affect the heart, says Dr. Neelan, director of the cardio-oncology program at Harvard-affiliated Massachusetts General Hospital. According to him, when he and colleagues evaluated the risk factor in people who had undergone treatment for head and neck cancer, the rate of heart disease was three times greater than the risk calculation predicted. Tobacco smoking and obesity are two underlying factors that both cancer and heart disease share. However, typical heart disease risk factors such as smoking, obesity, blood pressure, and diabetes were taken into account in the study, according to Dr. Neal. Tobacco use is also a common risk factor for cancers of the mouth, nose, throat, head, and neck cancers. However, these cancers have become increasingly related to human papillomavirus or HPV infections in recent decades. Let's see what immunotherapy trends are. Cancer treatment has turned away from cytotoxic cell-killing chemotherapy and more towards medicines that target cancer-causing biological factors in recent years. Some block the signals that allow cancer cells to grow, while others stimulate the immune system to kill cancer cells. About a decade ago, the first immune-based therapy was approved. 
However, these medicines have more than 50 potential applications now, and they could be utilized to treat around 36% of all cancers. The majority are immune checkpoint inhibitors, which can cause modest side effects such as rash or diarrhea. However, these treatments can sometimes cause an immunological reaction, which targets many organs, including the heart. However, these treatments can sometimes cause an immunological reaction, which targets many organs, including the heart. This type of cardiac inflammation, known as myocarditis, occurs in approximately 1.5% to 1% of cases, but has a high fatality rate. Heart attacks and heart rhythm abnormalities are two other possible risks. These heart problems can be addressed with early detection and intervention. The only thing you can do is keep your heart healthy during cancer treatment. Several heart-related problems might arise as a result of cancer treatment. All cancer survivors should see their primary care physician for regular checkups to monitor their blood pressure, heart rate, and overall cardiac health. Unfortunately, cancer survivors often neglect regular checkups and cancer screenings for other forms of cancer. So please, make a note of it on your calendar. If you have chest or lung pain and a regular heartbeat that won't slow down, leg pain, or a hot spot in your leg that could be a sign of a blood clot, don't hesitate to phone your doctor or go to the emergency room. Wait guys, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. What have you learned so far? Let us know in the comments below. While some symptoms of heart problems are easily identifiable, others are not. For example, suppose you feel that you are experiencing any of the following, fatigue, swollen hands and feet, dizziness or lightheadedness, and shortness of breath. In that case, you should make an appointment with your primary care physician. Like any other medication, cancer treatment medications contain the possibility of side effects. For example, depending on the type of cancer treatment your oncologist recommends, some chemotherapy medicines and radiation therapies targeted at your chest can have side effects on your heart. Consult your doctor about any potential cardiovascular side effects of your treatment and your option for protecting your heart. Then, do your part to keep your heart healthy by eating well during treatment. A well-balanced diet should consist of fruits, vegetables, some carbohydrates, and protein-rich meals such as meat, fish, and chicken. Avoid foods that are high in salt, sugar, saturated fats, or trans fats. Heart disease can also be prevented by eating a well-balanced, low-cholesterol diet. Quinoa is one of the most nutritious foods in the market. One cup cooked contains five grams of fiber and eight grams of complete protein and provides your body with all the essential amino acids you need. In addition, quinoa is an antioxidant, gluten-free, and an excellent source of iron, calcium, potassium, zinc, vitamin E, and several other nutrients. Staying active and eating well frequently go hand in hand. Try to stay physically active and keep a healthy weight if your treatment plan permits it. Do not overwork yourself. Instead, try to add small physical activities into your daily routine, such as a daily walk. Exercise helps to decrease blood pressure, enhance circulation, and strengthen the heart. Do you smoke cigarettes? If there was ever a time to quit, now is it. Quitting smoking lowers your chances of getting cancer and lessens the risk of treatment-related complications. Also, avoiding cigarette smoke, which affects the heart and blood vessels in any amount, is one of the best strategies to lower your risk of heart disease. So regardless of how much or how long you smoked, stopping is a good idea. It's common to feel stressed and nervous during cancer treatment but learning to manage your stress and anxiety can help your heart work more efficiently. Maintain an open line of contact with your doctor at this time to feel more in charge of your health. Keep your spirits up by focusing on and planning exciting events and activities with your friends and family. Activities like yoga can also help you find your center and relax. If you start to experience these symptoms weeks, months, or even years after complete cancer treatment, don't be afraid. 
and be sure to do what you can to help your heart by exercising at least 150 minutes per week, seeing your doctor regularly for checkups or as new side effects appear. So if you've had cancer treatment, be on the lookout for any new heart-related symptoms during and after treatment and report them to your primary care physician or oncologist right away. So guys, we're going to wrap up our video. How do you keep your heart healthy? And do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments section. Stay connected to Scope Care for more interesting content and updates on a healthy lifestyle by liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Be happy. Bye.